you know, um, I remember Jay-Z saying, um, truthfully, I want to rap like Talib Kweli. Common sense. Common sense. That was, I did five he said mil. both. He said both. He said both. But common sense was that line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I sold five mil and I ain't yeah, rhyming like common, common sense. sense. But so I, I think that for all of us deep down, there's a, there's a part of us that wants to tap into our, our conscious sides a lot more. Is this a God? And it leads us to our better selves. And this person has been trying to do that for the community, for, for society. He's been raising a vibration all over the country because they've been on tour. Um, high level conversations. We're about to find out what that's really like in person. We got 19 keys on. Man, blessed to be here, man. Appreciate you. Yes. Yeah. The legendary show, man. That's good. Yeah. Hey, brother, you do with godly, my brother. I appreciate thank you. it. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I appreciate Everybody. that. As, as, you as well. Thank you, you brother. as well. I appreciate right. it. You shining. So, so, so like you listen to Kendrick Lamar and Common Sense all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I do like the last Kendrick album. Yeah. It, it grew on me. You right. understand me? I think the one about fathers is my favorite. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, nah, I don't be, you know, shout out to Common, but I don't be right. listening to Common. So who do you listen to? Uh, I think my, you know, I listen to my brothers. You know, uh, Jack Hella Classic, mm -hmm. I'm Pooh, mm -hmm. you know, they in my rotation heavy. Mm -hmm. um, who I just said we listened to from Houston? Uh, we Sauce Walker. I've been listening to Sauce Walker Sauce lately. Wa Ooh, oh, Sauce Walker. Shout out yeah, to my, my guy, Sauce Walker. I've been Walker. listening to Sauce yeah. Walker lately, that's of course. The homie. Nipsey that's, Hussle. Yeah. I do like the, I do like the Nas Nipsey. album, Crazy, yeah. especially mm -hmm. with the Kings hit boy beats. Yeah. yeah, all three of them, but this last one I really like. Okay, you understand exactly. me? But you know, I listen to whatever. Yeah, Sauce is different. Yeah, you listening to Sauce yeah. is kind of suspect though. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Why? Because he be on his pimp vibes, and you know, yeah, you know I mean, but he's been he though. But he, he, it's, it's, it's one of those things. We was always taught settle on the best part. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And so, it's one of those things. Though it's like I was listening to my bro, Doctor Wesley. He was giving a breakdown about binaural beats. You understand mm -hmm. me? And how they can uh, hypnotize the mind, right? Mm -hmm. To where, you know, part of your brain fall asleep while the other one is suggesting something. And he was saying like, basically, he said he listened to Young Dolph and Future, but he was saying like, you know, like a person that uh, starting on their journey of eating healthy, the last thing you gave up from McDonald's was the fries. And he said, me saying I listen to like certain rap music is me saying the last thing I'm giving up no, is the fries. The fries. Mm, you understand right, me? Right. And so that's how it is with me. Like, I don't listen to it consistently because mm -hmm. I don't want their voice in my head because they don't talk about it. Right. But when I'm working out, specifically what that music do is it put me in that heightened sense, you right. understand me, to where you going at it. So it's like you want power, you want control, you want to take over. So that particular music actually works to heighten up the atmosphere while I'm in the gym. Right. But it don't really make sense, right, when I'm on the move and I'm trying to concentrate and I'm trying to focus, right, right? because it can make you more susceptible to being triggered. Right? right. You can be less emotionally resilient. Right. Mm -hmm. You catch somebody and they not at that state where they emotionally resilient, you say something, they pop off. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Because they don't have control over their emotions. And a lot of that has to do with the music. Right. And so, what you eat and the other factors, but you know, music is one of those powerful hypnotizing factors. So it, it, it all ties in. Absolutely. So we, do you listen to the, like the, the healing tones and Yeah, I love binaural the, the beats, man, and because all that. you know, you go from like beta, theta, you go from delta, gamma, right? And gamma's like heightened, like right? right. where you extra focus. Like in the morning time, they got what they call um Ultra-radian cycle. So our body goes through different cycles throughout the day, right? right? And so we got like 90-minute peak cycles where we can just focus, mm -hmm. right? So like for everybody, it's different. Well, let's say you wake up like 6 in the morning, you get you some sun, right? You in your circadian rhythm, which is your 24-hour clock rhythm. Probably about two, three hours after you wake up, your brain is at peak performance where you can start doing business, you can start doing certain tasks. Right. You got about 90 minutes of that flow time, then you go through a 30-minute rest period. Right. right, and you do that about four times throughout the day. Right. You understand me? So for me, I don't want to waste those periods. So if I'm listening to music, that's throwing off my cycle, right? So we only know about women having cycles. We don't realize that for me, everything is a cycle, right? right? Like, you know, everybody just celebrated New Year's, but the real New Year's happened in the spring cycle. Right, when right? everything when life, is new. We yeah. still going through the death cycle of winter. Right. You understand a, me? So I look Gregorian at everything calendar. as a cycle. That's what we're following. Yeah, the Gregorian calendar yeah. that came from the Pope. Right. You understand me in the papal bull system and all that. But in Judaism, they also recognize it as the new year isn't spring. Yeah. Right. I mean, and, and I mean, look, Chinese people got their own New Year's, right? Ethiopian people have their own calendar. 
is based on the moon, right? Ours is based on the sun. Right. And so we off rhythm, especially in wintertime, this ain't black people's time. You understand me? Like yeah. our time is more with summer. That's where you see things heighten. Right. I was explaining like, it'd be better, imagine if we had Black History Month in June. It'd be yeah. really turned up lit. then. Yeah, but yeah. they know not to put it right at the time where we had, you know, height and potency, the right. melanin is getting the right amount of energy and sun mm -hmm. and the vibration. They don't want that because then we in a proper cycle, mm -hmm. you know? So I look at everything as a cycle and sometimes it ain't time for me to listen to hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's a lot of people who can do good with just fasting for music for a minute, getting their shit focused, picking your peers a time when you do listen to it where it actually works. You understand mm -hmm. me? But like when I'm going to sleep, I got the binaural beats on. You know, I'll let that flow. So in that state where you at in gamma and you at like 432 hertz or whatever, that's when you more like, ain't nothing bothering me right now. Right. I'm right. good. Ain't nothing can bother me. So you may do something to me that normally, you know, if I'm in a low vibration, I might jump on it, you know. But if I'm on my, you know, heightened sense of self right now, it don't even bother me. I'm going to keep going with it. All right. Are there any uh, hip hop artists who, who rap on those type of tones that you recognize? Um, I don't know the exact cadence, but if you like, if you listen to, you know, uh, I think Kendrick Lamar, I think his last album probably has some of those in there. Yeah. You understand me? And most people, like the engineers, they doing it intentionally, right? Mm -hmm. Because they got to program that. So like if it's drill music, they not putting, you know, calmness in there. Right. right, like they want you to be heightened, they want you to be out of control. If it's more so music with like melodies, right, people that use a lot of samples from you know back in the day, those are the, the music you're gonna listen to that's gonna have you more on that flow and that wave. Mm. That's, that's just like what we was that's yeah. like what we was talking about the other day with the um RB music, yeah. How do you don't hear RB music? Like, yeah, uh, there was a time where that was no everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. everywhere was calm. they don't want us to love no more, yeah, nah, man. Because nah, we gotta go, we gotta dig deep for the yeah. Tank had that quote. He said the 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 fear isn't our anger, the fear is in our love. When we love Absolutely. each other, that's when they're afraid. When we war with each other, yeah. they're doing their job. We discombobulate. That's the that's the only solution to it all. I mean, but that that type of it's self love. You understand me? So like, you know, self love is a reflection of all love. A person really love themselves, they start demonstrating that in their life. So I'm gonna eat better. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to think better. The things that I ingest. But why? Because I love myself. I want to live longer. Mm -hmm. But we got a death culture, so it's backwards. Right. So everything we do gets us speeding up our death. Fast sex, fast death, right? Driving fast. Everything we do. Wait, wait. You said fast sex? Well, I just mean in a sense like <laughs> promiscuity, right? Like, oh, okay. I, like if you I, think I, about culture of hip hop, right? It's mm -hmm. like whole culture, pimp culture, right? None of it is about like protecting life so that you can have longevity. You understand me? Everything is fast. It's all microwave, right? right? So if it's not life in it, it's death in it. There's no in between that, right? If it's not pro-black, it's anti-black. There's no real in between in it. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So like people be talking to me like, bro, you pro-black. By saying that I'm pro-black, are you saying you're not? Mm -hmm. If you're saying you're not, you're telling me you're anti-black. Right. You understand mm -hmm. me? So people try to make it seem like I'm doing <coughs> something special. No, what I do is normal. I just love myself and I love my people. I don't think that's special. I just grew up like this. Right. You feel me? If you grow up in a black Muslim household in Oakland, California, like I did, then that's just normal. I don't think I'm doing something special. But people look at it as special because what they doing is anti. Right. You understand me? And that's normalized. So when you see somebody talking pro-black behavior, you feel me? They're really, you know, pulling their own card. Like, damn, man, he making me see myself right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He talking about black people and... Anything that I do, especially nowadays, everybody in capitalism, everybody want to make some money. I get it. Mm -hmm. So most of the things you do, you would throw your people away for a dollar. This hot fuck, trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.